Well, the plan was not to hit the leadoff guy with the first pitch <laughs> of the inning. Um, but rarely things go according to plan in life, especially in baseball. But um, So we got the fly out. Trout was at third with two outs. And, and Garv came to the mound to talk uh, about Pujols, what we were going to do first pitch, how we wanted to attack him. Uh, and we figured it out. We settled on something, and we turned around. He was on first base. So uh, another thing that didn't go according to plan. Uh, but you walk the Hall of Famer, and the guy hitting 500, and you get a guy that you can attack and try to force the ball in play. Um, you know, Molly put me in a position where I had to throw strikes, and I appreciate that vote of confidence. Three days in a row, I'm going to challenge a guy and um, try to make, put it on the ground. That's why we loaded the bases up. So. Luckily, it worked out for us. I mean, do you feel confident in your, I think, half your walks, or maybe, I think you've had 12 walks in the majors and five are intentional. So it's not, do you feel confident in your ability to throw strikes there and, and attack him? I do. I do. I feel confident um, throwing strikes with the bases loaded, nobody on, and tight pressure situations. I'm going to go right after guys with all three of my pitches and try to make them beat me. And you want the tapper back to you to kind of reset before going first, just kind of get that. You know, yeah, out. it had a weird spin. I think he capped it, and there was a cut on the ball, and it was had some okay. strong English. And I grabbed it along with some grass. Luckily, Joe's very tall, <laughs> a very good first baseman, so um, he kind of bailed me out there a bit. But.